for the App Attic. Today I'm going to show you how to purchase those cool apps that we found in my last video. If you watched the last video, you saw what the site's about, how to use it, a couple little tips and tricks, and how easy it is to find very cool apps. It's a different shopping experience to Apple's App Store, and it's far superior to the shopping experience you'll find on any other app stores. Keep in mind, once again, and I'll reiterate, that you're using our site to shop and find apps and, and, and research and, and, and get all the information that you need to purchase the app and then we're going to send you to the Apple site to purchase them. But it's only two clicks. You're going to click on our site and it's going to take you right to the page where you buy it on the Apple site. It's very simple. You, uh, it, it's so simple. <laughs> Even a caveman could do it. So let me, <laughs> let's get started. Let me show you. Uh, okay, let's buy an app. First things first. Glasses. <laughs> now I can see. All right. Uh, for purposes of demonstration, let's pick Angry Birds. Most of you already either have it or have heard about it or whatever. And if some, you know, uh, you, you can push this button right here. This is a buy button. Uh, or you can... Uh, if you were actually looking at it through uh, its own app page here, you could pr push that either button. It's going to do the same. Um, it's going to take you to the same place. And what it does is when you push this button, it opens Apple the website. It's going to open Apple's website to this app page there. At the same time, it's going to open iTunes, the application that you have on your computer. You'll see mine's right here, iTunes. It's an application. It opens up and uh, that's where you actually purchase the app. And this is the only way that you can purchase any apps for Apple. We make the process streamlined by helping you to find the app and then sending you there. And this is how it works. Watch how fast it's going to open Apple. You'll see Angry Birds for just a moment right there. And then boom, it opens Angry Birds on iTunes. And you'll see this buy button right up here in the side. You push the buy button and a window is going to open right over here. It'll ask you for your Apple ID and your Apple password. Now, if you don't have an Apple account um, or you don't have iTunes installed on your computer, if you own an Apple computer, you should have iTunes installed on your computer. If you don't have iTunes, now would be a time to do it. Follow the link below to um, be able to uh, get it on your computer. The reason that you want it is is because you want to be able to back up your device okay um, as you uh, you want to take all your photos all your music your contacts any information on your computer you may want on your device and vice versa uh, uh, your new contacts your new photos new videos anything that you've done say on your iPhone you may want to have backed up on your computer okay and that's what syncing does and I'll show you uh, how that works in another video but that's what's called syncing okay and you definitely want to do this because if, if something were to happen to your uh, your phone or your iPad or, or it got stolen or whatever you'd be able to if you got a new one you'd be able to put back everything that was there before so it's very important to have the and iTunes is what allows you to do that okay and uh, that's it it's as simple as that now when you're done with this process your app is going to show up in your apps folder here and there'll be lots of different apps that you've purchased right in that folder okay and um, and then you just trans simply transfer them into your device and uh, and i will show you in another video tutorial how to do that i will also have a, a tutorial on how to set up uh, an apple account it's easy it's painless but uh, some people like to be walked through and no problem. I'm happy to do it. So let's go back. Uh, so so now what do we do? Well, we go back to your browser here. Click on that. And we're going to just push. Now, if you didn't have, for instance, if you didn't have iTunes on your computer, uh, iTunes obviously wouldn't open it. And, and it would say this button that says view in iTunes, you'd click it. And then it would say, well, you don't have iTunes installed on your computer. Why don't you download it now? So, um, that's one quick way that you'll uh, you'll be able to get it. The other way is is with the link that I gave you. But either way, you will still be able to 
uh, be taken to the proper place to download iTunes. Okay, so we come back here and then all you do is push the back button and you're back on the App Attic and you can continue shopping and buying more apps. So let's just take uh, business for instance uh, and let's just take anything here. Business calculators, how's that? Okay, business calculators looks good. Let's get this app. So we're going to push that. You'll notice it opens quickly in the Apple site and boom, it goes right to business calculators in iTunes app store. Okay, you push the buy button, type in your uh, username and password, and it's going to download it right into your apps folder. Then the next step is syncing. Watch the, the next uh, uh, couple of videos and I'll be walking you through the entire process. So uh, it's so easy even a kid. No, I won't go there. <laughs> Anyways, this has been Brian for the App Attic. Thanks for watching. Keep buying those apps. I appreciate it. Bye-bye.